Hello, this is Charlie Ingalls, the developer of the mobile SCD Cribs app. Today I'm talking about version 4 of the app. For those of you who may not have used the app before or want a refresher, I've also created another video uh, which will go through all the features, but this particular video will just concentrate on the new changes made uh, under this uh, new version. First thing to note is that displays have a slightly new look. Uh, it's purple all over, uh, as uh, it was white before, and I thought that glared a bit much on you. So uh, the backgrounds are now purple. So both this particular display and the display of the individual dances are the same as you'll see in a few minutes. The initial information page, the acknowledgements of ASM, uh, Scottish Country Dance Database, and Keith Rose, and the people at Minicrib, will appear the first time you open the app for version 4. When you open it a second time, that acknowledgement page won't appear at all, and you'll go straight to the lists that you uh, have already saved. Or a completely blank screen as we have right now, because we actually have quite a number of lists. So I'm going to display our saved lists and here we have a March 2024 list which I'll open and we have this particular list up here. Now notice that if we go back and display the saved lists, this March 2024 list now appears at the top of all the lists on the menu. So this is the list. Let's uh, note a couple of changes here. The first change is that you had to long press on the container for this particular dance to move it up or down. Now you just go to the right where there's an up and down arrow and you just move it, move it up. No long presses, nothing like that. It's very simple just to move things up and down. On the left hand side, we have uh, this item here which says that you want to copy this dance over to another list. If you click on this, you'll get a list of the lists that you already have, so you can identify which list to copy it to, or you can enter the name of a new list and it'll create a new list and copy the dance to that. The advantage of this is that if you've made any notes on that particular dance, by copying it from the existing list, the notes will be copied over at the same time. Now, for those of you who love the app and have lots of lists, instead of deleting a list at a time, you had to load the list and then you had to say delete this list. You can now delete one or more lists at the same time. By clicking on delete lists, you get a list of all the lists currently on your device. You can then go through and you can click on whichever lists that you want to get rid of, a tick beside each one, then say delete lists and it will confirm each of the lists as you go through. If you say no, then it won't delete that list, but it will continue on to the next list that you've identified with the tick. So you can go through there and once that's done, those particular lists will have disappeared. Now, there's another couple of items to do with this list. In the past, as I said, you long pressed uh, to move the item up and down. Now, if you long press on this, you get another display. Now, this is to bring it in line with some of the advanced features on Scottish Country Dance Database already. Uh, you can designate a dance as an extra or an alternative. This may be useful for a social dance or even for uh, a program that you're, you're devising for a class. If you press on extra, against the, this particular dance, it will put a little indicator that this is an extra dance. If, for since instance, you wanted to do that dance as an alternative, you can do that and the specification of alternative will be there. You can have many, as many extras and alternatives as are necessary. If you change your mind after the fact, again, long press, delete special item, and it disappears from here and delete special item and it disappears from here. Moving on to non-dance items. 
In the past, you've been able to add an intermission to your program. If you click on intermission, it appears at the bottom and then just slide it up to wherever you want it to go. If you had a Bob program or a long social program, you may actually have a couple of breaks or intervals or intermissions in the program. Uh, you couldn't add those before, but now you can add the non-dance item, a second intermission, and move it to where you want it in the program. Uh, you can actually have as many intermissions as you want, although I suspect we don't want that many breaks, we want to enjoy the dancing. So those are the, uh, the new features on the particular list. Now let's look at our sharing storage area. Some of you in the past, I, I know, have, have been using this sharing storage. It can be used for two purposes. One is that you can create this on one device and then save it on sharing storage and load it onto one of your other devices. You used to be able to do that with QR codes, but in this version there are no access to QR codes. You can just use sharing storage to move things back and forward. It also means that if you want to share the list with other members of your class or whatever, uh, you just give them the number that's given to you when you save something, and you just pass that on to anybody you wish, and they'll be able to download it on their version of the app as well. In the past, if you had a, a, a list up and you deleted that list, then the system forgot the number of that list that's now on shared storage. If you click on display delete saved lists for sharing storage, you would have all these numbers. But as soon as you deleted a specific list on your device, it would forget what that number was. Uh, the system now remembers all those numbers. So even although you've deleted the list from the device, it's still on shared storage and if you want to go back in a week, two weeks, a month and bring that list back again, you'll be able to find it on this list, identify it and then you'll be able to load it again. Also on this particular display you'll see that you can also click a couple of items and you can delete lists. So if you want to do some housekeeping on your sharing storage, you don't need the lists at all anymore, uh, I encourage you to delete those. This feature just comes with version 4. Any uh, lists that you've saved on sharing storage in the past will not appear on this. So um, those ones uh, you will have to remember the numbers off. But going forward, this feature is available and it deletes. So those are the features there. In terms of the other lists you can have, loading public lists from Scottish Country Dance Database. I know a lot of you do this quite often. I was asked for an additional feature here, uh, which I'll show you right now. If I have a list, this was downloaded from Scottish Country Dance Database. If I have a list like this, then I go into Scottish Country Dance Database and do some updates to it. You now want to download it again onto the app. In the past, you had to remember that five-digit number so you could access it again. The system now remembers that five-digit number, so as long as you have the, that particular list you want to re-download in, uh, in displaying on the screen at the time, you can then just say Reload Public List, and it'll prompt you Load List, and the list's been reloaded, and if there had been any changes, they, they will now appear on this downloaded version. So those are uh, those items. Let's look at the individual displays. Here's the Dean Bridge of Edinburgh. We have the Keith Rose diagram and we also have uh, the um, crib notes for that particular item. And on the videos, we have the video and the uh, alternate videos along the bottom. There is one change here. If you're running on a tablet, this is what you'll see, and it'll look the same whether you're in landscape or portrait. In other words, whether you've got the device on its side or on its end. However, if you are running it on a phone, there is now a new change to this. Uh, 
let me just go back to the crib diagrams first of all if I now rotate my phone to be in landscape the system now displays the Keith Rose diagram full screen so you'll be able to read it much easier than you could in the past and similarly if you've got a video if you click on the video it'll start playing and again if you just turn your device around you'll get it in full screen still playing and if you turn it back again the video will continue on the portrait orientation so you can move back and forward easily between the videos well these are all the new features available on the version 4 of the app I hope uh, they make your life a little easier to work with and I hope you continue to enjoy the app uh, this is Charlie Ingalls signing off and have fun using the app